First look at .OS version 5.1.1 official build based on Android 11 running on the POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we are going to have a look at the new features and bug fixes of .OS version 5.1.1 based on Android 11 running on the POCO F1. First change you will notice is that the security patch is from June 2021. The kernel they are using is Sentinel kernel. AC Linux of course is set as enforcing. Do note this is the gapps build which I am using which means I do have pixel launcher out of the box and select works without any issues as does the screenshot feature. Now before you ask me where did I get this wallpaper, this wallpaper is present in their application. So if you go into settings, customization, wallpapers, go into dot exclusive wallpapers. It is one of the wallpapers on this list. Here it is. This is the wallpaper which I am using. Next question which I will get is can you update from the previous build using an OTA? Unfortunately right now you cannot do that because in their group they do mention that do not use OTA to update so you will have to use TWRP recovery to dirty flash your variant whether you're using the gapps variant or the vanilla build the first fix which they have done is that there were certain file manager applications which were crashing so solid explorer was one of them i installed it and as you can see solid explorer is working without any issues now Next thing before you ask me how do you install this ROM, we do have a video for that along with the video on previous build. Those videos can be found in the description of the video. Next up they have also fixed the offline charging. So this is where in your phone won't charge if the phone was turned off. That has been fixed and you do have a pretty cool animation over there as well. Next up if you go into settings and customization and then let us head over to AOD and lock screen. You will see a new option for screen of animation and if you swipe across it you would have two different options so CRT and this is how the CRT animation looks like the other one is your scale so this is how the scale animation looks like feel free to choose whichever one you want to. Next up if you are still in the customization section go into status bar and scroll down the traffic indicator has been fixed and it does show so as you can see on the top right it is showing right now and if you select this option you have two options either disabled or in the status bar and you can also auto hide it if there is no activity and here it is you can choose your traffic meter unit as well so kbps with a small k or with a big k whichever one you want to use another thing they have fixed is the persistent media notifications which would be a bother for some of you next new feature you will find is if you enable the three button navigation so let us go into settings system gestures system navigation choose the three button style and now if i go into settings and customization then if i go into buttons i have the option to invert the layout so once i select this option the recents and the back button are going to switch places so there it is working without any issues and if you go into system and here and if i change the nav bar pill length we can switch directly to the gesture option without having to switch from there it is you see we didn't have to go into gestures to change the navigation style as soon as, as I change the navbar pill we are back to the navigation style gestures so I don't know whether that is an intended feature or that is a bug. Next up let us talk about the features which they said were fixed in the change log and are not so the first one is hey google working with the screen turned off so it does work with the screen turned on let us turn the screen off hey google are you awake? okay google wake up please oops so the lady is still asleep and the issue has not been fixed next thing lock screen visualizer so if i go into settings customization and if i go into the system option i do have the option of lock screen visualizer here it is it is enabled let us go ahead and play some music so here it is music application let me reduce the volume so that i do not get a copyright strike but 
let me play this piece of music the music is playing you will see and there it is live caption is detecting music let us go to the lock screen and see nope's play and pause play pause the music is playing but there is no lock screen music visualizer i have tried rebooting my device as well the other thing which is yet to be fixed on this build is your screen off torch so i think that feature is also in settings and gestures yeah so here it is first option hold the torch hold the power button to enable the torch let me hold the power button i do hear a vibration but the torch does not come on and again when i press and hold i do hear the here i mean i do feel the vibration but there is no torch feature so that also is still broken for full disclosure it was not mentioned in the change log i'm just letting you know about it then they have also made some improvements to the wallpapers so if you go into settings customization wallpapers you might notice some improvements but the issue which i noticed is that if i press and hold on the empty space go into wallpapers nothing happens so there should be some application which should open when i press and hold and select wallpapers and of course i have updated all the applications from the play store so if i go into my apps and games you will see only one update is pending which is chrome next up while we are in the play store let us go into settings and play protect certification device is certified go into magisk and do note that device is not rooted right now i have only installed magisk to check for safety net so here it is safety net is passing and your device is certified in the play store which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work you either need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to purchase youtube premium then those of you who asked me about l1 folks l1 on the poco f1 is dead as in have two minute silence and you can blame poco india for that do not blame the custom rom for that next up let us also check out the photos application and check if the portrait light feature is working or not so let me edit this picture of my favorite football star and once the loading bar has finished go into adjust portrait light bam here it is working without any issues now some of you ask me or tell me that it does not work for you well you need a face for portrait light feature to work here is my friend chicken and if i edit it I do not get the option of portrait light either so yes you do need a face because google does have intelligent ai next thing we can check for is your recents so again recents are pretty smooth let us check out the google feed as well so no jitters and no lags in the google feed either let us check out the app opening animations again no jitters no lags everything seems pretty smooth let us try switching between a few applications nothing wrong over here either everything is working as expected so what is the final take on dot os 5.1.1 i mean if i sounded disappointed in the video i am kind of disappointed and it's been ages since a rom disappointed me but somehow i do have some high hopes and high expectations from dot os all because of their android 12 monet style ui and the hard work they have put in but you still have bugs and what turned me off was the fact that they have mentioned in the change log that the bug is fixed but when the final build rolls out the bug is still present so in my humble opinion those bugs should be tested out before you roll out a production build anyways that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when I see you.